previously on The Budget Sportsman. And another one. They are on fire now. David just caught another one. Guys, this is the kind of fishing you want. I mean, we've been fishing three hours and it's been almost nonstop action. What do we have? Probably close to 20 catfish now. Cooler than most cool. Good times. All right, so it's the next morning. We had a great night last night. Uh, we caught 19 catfish, a couple of channel cats, and a bunch of blue catfish. And now David's gonna show me how to get them ready to eat. We're gonna cut all the barbs off of these so they don't get us, because some of them are still alive after about eight hours in the cooler. So I go through and cut all the barbs off because they'll flop around and get you. Then just throw those in the trash bucket. So once you cut all three barbs off, you're going to turn them on its side. There's a little bone right here sticking out behind the head. You put your knife right there. The edge of the bone on the head right there, you can feel it. You're going to cut right up that. Just up to the center. Cut down through the other side. You're going to do the same way. You're going to turn it over on its belly. And here you just want to break the skin. Just go real light with your knife. Try not to cut all the meat because then it'll rip it when you go to pull them apart. Do the same thing on this side, just barely cut the skin. It helps to have a super sharp knife. We'll take your catfish skin and pliers, grab the catfish right behind his head and put your fingers in those spots where you just cut. And then just grab them with your pliers and just start pulling. Some of them are pretty tough, you gotta hold that head pretty hard. And then that skin will just pull right off, all the way down the tail. Then you flip them over, and you got that skin on the belly, and that one pulls out pretty easy. Then you're gonna take your knife, you're gonna cut right down the spine of this thing, right up here at the front, it sticks out a little bit, so you kind of got to go around it. Just stick the tip in, kind of follow around the bones. Be careful not to do it too hard because you'll cut through the bone and then you'll have bones in your fillet. I don't know about you, but I don't like bones in my meat. And you just cut all the way down through the tail. And you'll feel the bone with your, the tip of your knife. Just push gently. Run the knife right along the edge of those rib bones until you get it all the way off. I always wear a glove, it helps hold on to the catfish a little easier. Do the same thing on the other side, just kind of trace down the bone line. You get that right down there around that fin, it'll go all the way through. Put a little bit of downward pressure on your knife, run it right down the bone. You can just peel the meat off of them ribs. When I get that, I usually run my fingers down it, make sure I didn't miss any bones. Throw it in a bowl of water off to the side. Flip them over and go right behind that fin there. And cut with your knife down to the rib bone. There's a lot of good meat in the belly. Just trace it right up through the whole belly. Same thing on this side, go right down to the rib bones and cut. And you'll get a couple more good nuggets there of meat.
Well everyone, I just want to take a moment to say thank you for joining me on today's video. I really appreciate your time. If this video is helpful to you, let me know that down in the comments, or if you have a different method of cleaning a catfish than what David has, let me know about that as well. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.